Wow, Biden's border crisis, unending and fiercely out of control. Take a look at the middle of your screen. And by the way, we're going to get Brian Kilmeade's take on all of this in a moment when he joins. Stunning exclusive new Fox video of a train packed car after car filled with cheering people from all over the globe coming our way. This despite the vice president Kamala Harris very early on in the administration warning people not to come. Well, they didn't listen to her, but they do know the border is open. In Eagle Pass, Texas, our Fox drone captured video of one of the largest mass illegal crossings we have ever seen there. And we have this video from San Diego. You're free to go for all you want. You're free to go. Okay, uh, it's no problem uh, if I go to Chicago. You're free. Thank you. Go wherever you want. It's a free country. So you see those aren't Republican uh, governors pushing those people onto buses. No, 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 no. They're told, go wherever you want. That was a border agent telling a man, sure, you're free. Just one of the many people from China and Pakistan dropped off on the city streets due to overcrowding at city shelters. Hola, ¿de dónde son? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I have some terrible news for you guys, unfortunately, okay? Because the Biden border crisis is about to get so much more worse, okay? And I'm going to tell you guys why in this video as Biden has folded to the Democrat governors slash mayors that have been begging, begging, okay, for more federal funding to help with their immigration crisis that they now have to deal with because they're sanctuary cities, right? By law, these sanctuary cities like New York City, for example, are required to spend taxpayer money taking care of illegals that show up to the city. And that has cost them literally billions of dollars. Okay, so they've been begging the Biden administration for relief. And up until this point, Eric Adams and Joe Biden don't really seem to be communicating all that well on this issue as it seemed like Biden had abandoned the Democrats, okay? Because one thing that the Democrats were asking for was the ability to ex expedite the work permit process to get the illegals off the government teat, okay? So instead of deporting them, right? Nah, they don't want to do that. They want the illegals to work so that they can hurry up and to take people's jobs, right? This is what the Democrats are begging for. And again, up until this point, Biden had left them in limbo because the illegals couldn't work. They couldn't work. So therefore, uh, the state governments had to essentially pay to take care of them, which was costing the state a whole lot of money and financial resources. And Biden did not want to grant these work authorization permits because he knew that this would incentivize more people to come to the border because Obviously, if you are just letting people work as soon as they get here, okay, uh, even though they're here illegally, if you allow them to work legally, then that's just going to incentivize more people to come. However, the Biden administration ended up folding to the Democrat crybabies by granting temporary protection status to the Venezuelan migrants or a significant portion of Venezuelan migrants, asylum seekers who happen to be in these liberal cities so that they can go ahead and start working. And I'm telling you guys, if you thought that the immigration crisis was bad now, just wait how much worse it's going to get after this move from the Biden administration. And I want to talk about that. But before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Do you want to take control of your financial future, but you don't know where to start? Well, Trust me, Noble Gold understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments makes it easy. Let's hear from actual Noble Gold Investment customers. Quote, the staff answer all my questions and help me every step of the way. 
Quote, no pressure, sales tactics, just honest guidance. Quote, secure my future is less stressful thanks to noble goals, expertise. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. They'll suggest options to see if you can diversify into gold and silver. And right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free 5-ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualifying accounts and rollovers. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless of five-star reviews. So why wait? Go to noblegoinvestments.com. That's noblegoinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And just remember, there's a risk with every investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. Right now, let's take you out to CBS 2's Ali Bauman on Staten Island, where there's more pushback against migrants coming to the area. For a second night, dozens of protesters rallied outside Island Shore Senior Center on Staten Island, which is now housing 15 asylum-seeking families. We should be helping our own people first. This demonstration was tame compared to a night earlier when 10 people were arrested, including for assaulting a police officer. I think everyone's really angry. The migrant crisis has reached uh, apocalyptic proportions financially for our city. Stan Island only has 2% of the asylum seekers. And as you can see, other boroughs are doing their best to ensure that they continue supporting and being a welcoming borough. As they rallied Wednesday, the Biden administration announced it will grant temporary protected status to Venezuelans who came to the U.S. before July 31st of this year. That will expedite work authorization for about 472,000 Venezuelans seeking asylum in the U.S., including up to 60,000 Venezuelans who have come to New York in the past year. And the president is finally taking actions that should have been taken um, more than a year ago. Congressman Richie Torres says the move is far from a silver bullet. But even that is not a silver bullet because the backlog of TPS applications is so overwhelming that the average processing time is about 13 months. Uh, and so in order for work authorization to be granted immediately, the president's going to have to prioritize Venezuelan migrants from New York City. In a statement, Mayor Adams reacted in part, saying, I personally spoke to the White House tonight to hear about this development and express my gratitude. While Governor Hochul said, after my productive conversation with President Biden last night, I'm grateful the federal government has acted so speedily to grant one of our top priorities. Hours earlier, Hochul had urged Republicans to step up. Republicans from New York State ought to be on the phone or walk into the office of Speaker McCarthy and say, our state needs help. Just this week, tens of thousands of migrants have crossed the U.S. border. The influx prompted one Texas mayor to sign an emergency declaration, while in Arizona, hundreds of migrants were detained, some in makeshift cages. Angie Ortiz fled with her two children from Venezuela to El Paso, crossing the Darien Gap. That's the dangerous stretch of jungle between Colombia and Panama, where an estimated 380,000 people have crossed so far this year. Una comida al día por los niños, para los niños. Exactamente. In Spanish, she told CBS News' Manuel Bajorquez she's only able to feed her children one meal per day. As for Angie Ortiz, the temporary protected status would only apply to her if she came to the U.S. before July 31st. Here in New York, Governor Hochul said the state is prepared to start signing people up for work authorizations and get them into jobs. From Staten Island, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Yeah, so you see now you heard that. Um, Joe Biden folded to Eric Adams, Kathy Hochul, Brandon Johnson, and the rest of the Democrats who were, we got too many illegals, right? But again, instead of deporting the illegals, okay, uh, sending them back where they came from. And in, in this case, uh, you know, apparently you can't really send them back to Venezuela because we don't have a diplomatic like relationship with Venezuela, but sending them to all the surrounding countries that we do have a relationship with, okay? Instead of deporting them, okay, saying, look, our country's not open right now. We can't take people. You need to wait in, I don't know, Colombia, right? Panama, Mexico. Wait another country, okay, while you're seeking asylum. No, no, no. Instead of doing that, no. They decided to essentially incentivize more illegals to come into this country by folding to these Democrats. Because, again, what message does that send 
to the people that are thinking about coming here, right? What what the message that said is that, oh, if I go ahead and I come now, right, then maybe, just maybe, I will be granted authorization to work. I'm going to be able to work when I get here. Not only that, I can show up, get across the border, right? Not too much issues, not too much problems, okay? And then uh, I'll get a, you know, free bus trip to whatever city I want to go to, okay, in the country, right? Whatever city, okay? I get there and then I'll be able to work because the Biden administration eventually is going to fold to these Democrats, okay? That's the problem. That's the problem. That's why I say the only real solution, the only real solution is mass deportations, right? And getting tough on the border. But what does the Biden administration do? They fold to the Democrats and their demands, which again is going to incentivize more illegals to show up at the border. But he's actually fighting back against Greg Abbott, who is fighting tooth and nail to try to do what he can in his limited power as a state governor of Texas, a border state, to disincentivize illegals from crossing the border, okay? Biden's currently in a battle with Greg Abbott over how Greg Abbott is securing the border. Take a look. Tonight, Governor Greg Abbott is vowing to send more state personnel to the border to fight what he's calling an invasion. It comes as more Texas border communities have seen a surge in migrants in the past couple of weeks. KVU's Darren Heron spoke with an expert about what all of this means. Now, Brian Quita, Governor Greg Abbott posted this video on social media tonight of what he says is the feds cutting down the state's razor wire in Eagle Pass. After seeing that video, he says he deployed more Texas National Guard troops to, quote, repel illegal crossings and install more razor wire, end quote. This all comes as the Biden administration and Governor Abbott are in a legal battle over the state's enforcement efforts, including a floating border barrier in the Rio Grande. The feds want Abbott to remove those buoys, saying they're illegal and pose a humanitarian threat. But Abbott says the Biden administration is not doing anything to protect the border. He also posted on social media tonight that he's declared an invasion. Immigration lawyer Kate Lincoln Goldfinch says the governor is just trying to increase his chance of winning the lawsuit. What it appears that Abbott is doing is using rhetoric of an invasion so that he strengthens his position in the federal lawsuit about the buoys because the U.S. Constitution says a state may not enforce federal immigration laws unless it is being evaded, invaded. Cities along the border have reported a new surge in migrants this week. Today, the mayor of Eagle Pass signed an emergency declaration asking for more resources. In El Paso, city leaders say within the last week, they've encountered over 1,200 migrants per day. Goldfinch says despite these numbers, there is no invasion at the border. Using the word invasion is legally and factually inaccurate and extremely dangerous. We are not facing an invasion at the southern border. In fact, our federal immigration authorities are doing an excellent job of apprehending migrants. As far as the legal dispute between the U.S. government and Texas over the buoys, an appeals court set a hearing date for October 5th. Until a judge says otherwise, the buoys can stay. Guys? Yeah, so I want you guys to understand. In Wokenese, right, this is how the woke speech, right, this is their language. In Wokenese, 45,000 migrant encounters in the last five days at the border, okay, at the ports of entry that we know of, right, and 230,000 migrant encounters in August, which is significantly up from July and June. Most of them, as you guys have seen on video, Men, military age young men, okay? Not the young Venezuelan women, right, and their kids, okay? Not them, okay? It ain't it ain't them for the most part. Young military age men, a lot of whom are likely young scholars, right? Young scholars coming to the border to try to get into the country. That's not an invasion, right? And in fact, it's actually dangerous, to call it an invasion. What's not dangerous is the invasion itself. What's dangerous is calling the invasion an invasion. 
Again, these wokes, right? These people are the worst. They care more about illegals than they care about the American people. Just like Democrats. Like, clearly and obviously, we have a situation where these people are taking advantage of our weakness, okay? This asylum system, these people are taking advantage. Like, these military age males are not here seeking asylum, okay? Not legitimately, not sincerely. They're trying to come here to start a new life. They're trying to come here to immigrate here, okay? And again, they're taking advantage of the fact that we're essentially allowing people to come here illegally if they're Venezuelan, right? If, if they claim they're refugees. And again, you know, this is what happens when you lack common sense. You know, sometimes you got to understand that, look, what are the incentives? What is the incentive structure here? When they get here, we're not deporting them, not nearly enough. We're sending them to liberal cities, right? In these cities, they're being taken care of instead of being deported. And now we're allowing them to work. Do you think that this crisis is going to get better, right? Especially considering the fact that the Biden administration wants to fight with the Texas governor about using uh, methods that the Democrats find to be inhumane, right? To disincentivize people from crossing the border, right? Do, do you think... That more illegals are going to come or less. The problem is just going to get bigger. Guys, this country, with the amount of illegals coming, like, it's going to be unrecognizable in three, four, five years. I mean, it's already unrecognizable now. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. Again, we got to get Biden up out of office. This guy has no clue. You got to be tough when it comes to the situation. I'm sorry. I understand the, all the arguments from the left, I get it, but we can't take everybody just because they're seeking asylum, just because they're fleeing their country. We can't take everybody because if that's the argument you want to apply, then we should be taking immigrants from all over the place, right? I mean, we kind of are. They, they are coming here from all over the place, right? But I'm just saying because that's the argument that's being made, that's what's happening. It's not just people from Venezuela. You got people from China, Pakistan, Africa, Haiti, okay, Brazil, all over the place. They're coming from all, they're, they're, the whole world is saying, hey, the U.S. border is open. Let's go. <laughs> right. So they're, so they're swimming across the, the uh, Pacific and, uh, and Atlantic Oceans <laughs> to get here. Right. Because they know that the border is wide open. And once you get in, we might allow you to work. You ain't got to work under the table. You're going you to get that $15 an hour minimum wage. Which to them is like a fortune compared to what they can be making in their home country. So again, what is the disincentive here? How did, how uh, is the Biden administration disincentivizing people from coming? Oh, giving a strongly worded message. Hey, we we allow you illegals to come here and we granted your work authorization. We're going to allow you to work, but don't come. That doesn't mean come more, right? That's essentially the message of the Biden administration. And, you know, they act like they're surprised that people aren't listening, right? When, again, clearly you have financially incentivized these people to come here. And as long as we continue to do this, it's only going to get worse. If you thought the border crisis was bad, just wait. It's going to, like, it's going to, they're going to flood the border now. Because all hands are off. Biden already let know, hey, if you guys keep coming... We're going to allow you to work here illegally, right? We're never going to deport you. We aren't going to actually send you back. We aren't going to make it hard for you to get here, okay? We aren't going to do any of that stuff. The border is wide open, and once you get here, you will be welcome with open arms thanks to Democrat governors and the Biden administration. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.